All right, folks, this is day six of our vacation. Today we're at a different strip mine. We chose this one because it does have hybrid stripers. I know the odds are slim of getting one, but there always is that chance. And uh, hopefully crappie will keep us busy while we're fishing for the hybrids. Uh, there is that chance, so, and of course bass and whatever else. We're just hoping to get a hybrid striper just to get something different. Yeah, but you'll have to turn it around so I can get in. No, here, I'll pull it. You can say, sit. We got 17 mile an hour winds today, so we will have to anchor when we find certain spots, but I already got it rigged up to where it's set at 20 feet, where it has a little slack for most spots. Now if it's 25 feet deep, I'll have to let some more out. But Let's go explore it first. It looks better way down here because it branches off. It goes this way, like this. It goes like this, huh? like a T. Some of it goes that way and some of it goes that way. It's a cross, cross way. Or we can look for a brush pile or some, some kind of structure. It's easier going this way now, but on the way back it'll be bad because the wind's pushing us right now. We got the wind pushing us with the motor. Look at all them rocks. Looks like maybe where rain comes in or something. It looks muddy, but it's really not. You got one? All right, Wilma's into something here, guys. She sure is. I'm gonna throw there. What has she got? It's a largemouth. All right, that's a good start. We're not, we're not doing bad then. On the pink, it's on the bait. Working for her pretty well this week. He's about 13. if there was anything in here. Wow. Yeah, them th they, fit, they tear that thing up so easy. Hey, it's a start. Yeah. 13 inches. All right, we got a fish in our first five minutes again. We have all this week. We always get one right off the bat. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, honey, honey. Right there. Sticks. Should I anchor in between them? Because there's two sets.
sunfish on that crankbait. So far, we are just getting dinks. He's not bad for a green sunfish. But all the bass have been real tiny. We're in 60, we are anchored in 60 foot of water right now. I might end up just fishing with worms here in a little while just to see. I think it's on yet because I had it on from the green sunfish. It's bigger. Yeah. So this is how we got a fish. We got an anchor. 20 feet from the bank and one of us fished that way and the other one that way. That's why he fought hard because he had hooked in the gill plate. It's still a little better than the ones we've been getting though. No, it's a bass, isn't it? No, that's a... It is... No, bass. Darn. Yep. Shit. I'm trying to go behind this tree where I can vertical jig it with the. I need the paddle. I'm trying to catch bluegill. Actually, this will work right here. I'm just gonna throw the anchor right here. Biggest one of the day, I think. And I gotta use pliers to get him off because it is in. Now that's that's better. Yeah, that ain't bad. I'll take them. That's almost even size. About seven inches. 
six inches. It might be seven. Not bad. This water's like 80 something degrees. How? It should be in the 70s by now. Hey, that's our biggest one so far. quarter of six in the evening and this is the very first time I've ever had my trolling motor cut out on me the battery went dead I guess I just used reverse too much today I used it quite a bit but it didn't seem like to me that I used it full th three full hours like it's supposed to I just think it's I've only had the battery a year but I did overcharge it one time and I probably did damage to it or maybe I just didn't charge it enough this morning and about 20 minutes ago it gave out on me and I know it's what it is because if I let it sit for a while and turn it on it spins for just one or two seconds and then gives out so I'm having to paddle back against the wind with 17 mile an hour winds with one little stubby paddle so I've decided after this I'm going to use this battery as a spare and keep it fully charged and buy me a new battery here probably by Christmas time or something. Uh, that way I always got a spare battery with me and I'll just keep it in the tub uh, with my tackle boxes or somewhere in here. I can keep a spare battery and always have it for an emergency. Uh, it don't have to be a great battery but just keep it fully charged where I can get an extra hour or something out of it. And, uh, all in all, this was a day where we caught a lot of dink bass, six to eight inches. We did manage to get three twelves. This lake just seems to be overpopulated with bass. When me and her were paddling the bank, we would always see three or four of them at a time that were three and four inches. Uh, if there is hybrid stripers in here, you got to have a fish finder and troll to catch them. Use advanced methods that I can't really do from here. I'm not saying they're not in here, but they say they stocked them in here. It shows it on the website. So, so right now I'm paddling my butt off, I'm letting her cast. I'm trying to stay perfect 40, 50 feet away from the bank for her. I'm working our way back to the car because it's getting really cold. Once that sun went down, it feels like it's 50 degrees out here. So we've had our first two days of the vacation were the best. It's when I caught the white bass and wall, and then when I fished the waterfall in my friend's private lake, that was <coughs> both in one day. <laughs> and then we had we've had nothing but bad days since then. Uh, so we got to come up with a game plan for tomorrow and pick the right spot at the right time. Uh, one problem is I haven't I never did hook a crappie in this lake and as much as ground as we covered we should have at least caught one small one and I meant we I meant to pick a lake that had good crappie and this one probably don't so I'm thinking tomorrow 
since we wasted money on the license we might try over here again but at a lake nearby that's supposed to be excellent crappie it says 83 percent of them are 10 inches or bigger so um, once again though we'll probably have to have the wind issue uh, but we'll just see we don't know for sure what we're doing Better than the ones we've been getting. Decent. Right out of keeper size, I guess. I knew they were by them rocks. Uh, folks, this is bass like number 20 for me, but it's only the third real one. Uh, that's what we're talking about. i get him back got some scars on him. <coughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Looks like a crankbait. Why didn't they try to get it? Might be a decent one. Oh boy, <clears throat> state record, gotta be. Oh, we both had state records. I gotta take this into the conservation. Have them certify it. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're taking that conservation. Get a certified scale. <laughs> Wilma's got another one. Yep. Better. Eleven. Another ten enter. Still working our way back to the truck the hard way with a paddle. Oh, oh. <laughs> <coughs> oh he jumped. Oh boy, I got a mess here. Big mess. How did this happen? Sometimes I can't stand crankbaits. Because they are a pain. I managed to get one more. Another 11 or 12 inch or at least. He's about, yeah, about 11. It's just, I don't understand how this water is so warm. Strange. All right, folks, we're real close to the car now and I managed to get one more. Another 11 or 12 inch or at least. He's about, yeah, about 11. It's just, I don't understand how this water is so warm. Strange. He's not too bad. Compared to the ones we mostly got today, anyway. there's a lot of them right here for some reason. Well, we caught numbers today, folks, but no, no crappie, and nothing big. But. We still had fun, kind of like yesterday. We had a fun day, even though we didn't do great. We caught eight fish yesterday total. Or I caught five and she caught 
Well, let's see, we caught four each at the waterfall and the low water bridge, something like, no, you caught two and I caught four, and then you caught more than me at Sling Creek because you used the worm. I caught six fish total yesterday, and that was it. And that's at two different, three different spots. Two at the waterfall, two at the low water bridge, and two at Saline. Isn't that strange how the wind just died? It did this when me, me and you was at the strip pit, and it did it when me and John was at the strip pit. It quits right at dark for some reason. I don't get it. All right, well, this ends this session, guys. We don't know what we're doing tomorrow for sure, but I think we're going to go try for crappie and ready or next door to here, maybe. We'll see. We'll figure it out. All right, until next time, hit that like button and please subscribe.